if you want to generate AI images, but use your machine, there's a really cool thing you can install called Invoke AI Community. Now, there are other packages that can do this, but I just found this the easiest one to do. So you can do Windows, Mac or Linux. You click on uh, download Linux and it will download an app image. So what that is, is sort of like an application that's got all of its dependencies already bolted into it. So you don't need to install anything. When it launches, it'll install what it needs. So if I go into my downloads folder, I've already put it on here. And to run an app image, it's really simple. Just right click on it, go to properties and then permissions and then allow executing as file program. So now if I click on this, it will launch Invoke AI. Now what is this? An image generation package. So you launch it, starts up, he says. I hope again this isn't going to obliterate my OBS thing. Comes up and off you go. So it's broken into three parts. You've got these tabs over here. First thing you need to do is install some models. So there's some, it gives you some starter models that you can pull down. If you want to use the FluxDeb one, it gets a bit complicated. You have to get a token from face hugging and all this, but you can download these models. Obviously, remember you've got a 16 gig graphics card or smaller. There are some memory saving tips it gives you as well. So once you've got those installed, you go back to your, uh, your desktop and then you can plumb in your, you know, I put, a, it's your random seed. I've got a neon drenched dystopian city at night inspired by Blade Runner, uh, whatever. So there you go. And so I've just run that. That's given, given me various looks and you can select your model over here. And then you run it. I won't run it because it'll flatten the, um, flatten the memory and take five minutes. But there you go. And then you can do all sorts. You can play with it, edit and refine a canvas. Uh, again, you know, all this kind of stuff. Brilliant. You can do nodes, deeper workflows, nosy models. Absolutely brilliant bit of software. And that's your image generation pass taken care of. So you can do AI images. Now just close this down. I invoke shut down and it's gone. So you go. So, you know, we've got AI imagery, AI desktop, um, graphics and everything sorted out. So before we f we'll finish off and resolve, because I'll, what I'll do is I'll stop this video and drag this video into resolve that we're making now. So the last one obviously is games. So let's just have a look at no, but this is the big driving force behind people moving to Linux, I feel. It's the games. The more games we can play on Linux through Steam, the better the world comes. But there's more ways of doing it. You've got Heroic Games Launcher. I'll, I'll do how you install this these bits in a minute. It's like phenomenally simple.